What's up guys, welcome to Poland's Garage, welcome to another video. So today we are at Justin's Garage and we're going to be working on the SL500, the R129 once again. Okay, so today we are doing injectors with the injector seal holders and the idle air control um, vacuum system. So on this car, because it has the K-Jet or I think it's called something else, but mechanical fuel injection basically. These right here are what are leaking. The top of the uh, seal right here is bad, so I did a smoke test on it, and on all eight cylinders, it is letting out the smoke vapor, which is causing the car to run very rough, very lean, which can damage the engine. So I ordered all that and the vacuum lines, which you'll see once we take this off. To take this off, if you don't know, you just pull this off, and this off. You want to make sure you don't crack them because they do crack easily. Yeah, minor cracking, but you can buy brand new ones. They started making them. And then over here, I think this car had a clip at one point. So it's just going to be like you take pliers, pop it off. But mine does not. So you just wiggle it. It'll pop off. Just push it aside. And, okay, so both of the tabs in the bag are broken. There's supposed to be also two tabs holding it to the valve cover. Yes. And then once you would get those tabs off, you just lift back and then forward and just set this aside. Just like this, you get access to all eight injectors. So this is what we're also replacing right here. These guys right along here, because these are supposed to be soft and malleable, but these are as hard as a rock. So there is, I don't think any possible way of taking these off without breaking them, and then they're probably just gonna leak after you touch them anyways. So we'll show you the next step of getting this ready to pull the old injectors out and putting the new seals in. All right, so as you guys see, we remove all of these injectors on this side, as well as here. And this is the last bracket. You essentially have four of those brackets, and on each bracket there is two injectors. So one thing I didn't know until I got to this point is Gavin, can you hand me that metal line on the rack? This little guy you have to take off, which it tucks under here, but you could feed it through, and then it goes basically from here to here. But yeah, you could tuck it, it's kind of a pain. You can move these a little bit and you'll get it right out. Essentially from this hole. And that's going hole. to be a 17 millimeter wrench almost everything you're going to be working with is a 17 or i mean in millimeters these are what were these five or five yeah so five the long one works better because you could get in between these lines or well that's not well yeah that is where it goes so it'd be like this right there so you're just gonna unscrew this take that off this is just it clamps them down. Oh okay, yeah, we're to put in the bag. That pulls it. Just unscrew these, which are already loosened. These are a 12 millimeter. And on this car, I don't know how other cars are going to be. This is the first time doing it. But all you're gonna do is you just lift up the line will pop out you could like i said bend them slightly but not too much because you'll hate your life if these get screwed so you just lift that up and then you just take this bracket out sometimes the injector especially like mine that has really bad seals will like to come out with it and you just gotta try to get the injector to stay down so you can pull this out okay, good to there we go Remember it around. And on I don't know how you guys this cars are gonna be but mine these just pull straight out no problems for the most part And same thing with these. Like I said, you could bend them up just slightly. You don't want to go too much. The reason why we're showing you this side is because this side of the engine, the right-hand drive side of the engine, 
it's way easier to take out. There's way more stuff going on on the yes. uh, left hand drive. Premium gas. And just like this, and just like this, this is what <laughs> the old injectors look like. So this is what failed on mine, is this seal right here. Now you can just pull these down and put new ones in, but I don't know, I didn't know the condition of these or these, and you could see on mine, they are starting to crack right here. So they're not leaking yet, but what's the point of going through all this work when you're gonna have to take it apart again? These aren't very expensive. I paid about for the whole set of from here all the way across for both sides, it was like 150 bucks. The only thing that's expensive about this job is getting the injectors, especially if you get Bosch like I did. Uh, the Bosch with this guy, the seal and the injector itself was about $500, roughly a little bit more with shipping and stuff. So that's the most expensive part, but your car will run like brand new and probably get better gas mileage as well. All right guys, so just if you're interested, this is what it looks like, the fully built injector. That's what it looks like all brand new everything brand new all right guys by the way this is the actual bosch injector so that's the part number if you need it okay. and uh you can see it here are the parts numbers yeah that's okay. the part number and that's the uh names or what the part numbers go for and that will be and also the prices that will be for these guys so you could see mine were rock hard. These are very malleable. So that's all for this. This is all you need, including this guy. Now, one thing I almost screwed up on, these look identical, but there's a right and left side. So this one, if you want to show the part number. Okay, I think they can, you can just pause it and see it. And then this one, here's the part number as well okay and on the bag it will say idle air hose right side okay perfect you can see it so we'll show you real quick i didn't build one injector it's very simple you just pull the caps off and what you're going to want to do so this is two pieces this is a hard plastic piece and then a soft rubber piece sometimes when you go to put this on this will pop off when you slide it over the injector but you could just twist this and it'll pop back on. You'll hear like an audible kind of like light click and that's in place. So you just push it on. Now these can be kind of a pain in the ass. See, it popped off a little. So you're just gonna go like this and push down. It is a pain, but it will slide down. And then what I like to do before I go all the way down you just it click down like that and then when you push it down to this part you'll hear a click as well and then you take where i put it here's the holder this is from mercedes-benz it already comes with the bottom seal on it and you just stick it in twist it a little bit and then what i like to do put your finger on the bottom and just if you can feel there's no air coming through, then your injector's good. And right. then that's it. I just would put the cap on if you're not doing it right away so you don't get any dirt in there and you're good. And that is it. That is how you do the injectors. Pretty straightforward. Nothing you can't do in your garage if you just have a little bit of knowledge on cars and just, you know, basic hand tools. We didn't use any power tools or anything like that. So we are gonna put this back on and see if it starts. I primed it a couple times. You want to do that before you put this back on. Make sure none of these are leaking or these fuel lines because you touched them. Just make sure that's good. As he said, we prime it and everything seems perfect. So we install the box and see if we can start it. These don't matter too much because the air filters are here. This, this just this brings in fresh, cold air. All right, so well. I'm gonna pull this off just so you can see if anything does spray and we're gonna start it out. It might run rough for a couple seconds when it, just to catch up with the fuel and we'll see.
you cannot hear it, Justin is priming the engine more, the fuel pump more, because we're gonna try take two. get this taken care of first because an engine running lean is a lot worse than motor mounts being bad but I can already tell you right now just by the tone it is running a million times better before it almost sounded like a, a boat out of water or a cam like 69 Camaro kind of sound like it, it was not happy now it seems like it's running good it, it's sputtering a little bit but the computer might also be adjusting yep but, well. I don't guys, smell any fuel. And also be careful because I almost touched the fan right here. <laughs> but yeah guys, so we're gonna finish the video sometimes over here. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, stay tuned, see you next time, and let us know in the comments what you think, if it was helpful or not. Stay tuned, see you next time.